Welcome to My Favorite Foods. I'm Christine Cushing. Today I'm outside on the Barbie. It is salmon season in Canada and I want to share with you a spectacular sockeye salmon on the grill in less than 20 minutes. Let's go. So let me tell you what this is first. This is a little bit of marjoram and I'm saving this for a very special trick. So any kind of woody herbs like this will do. Okay, look at this fish. Is this not something else? This is a piece of sockeye salmon. It's a whole side, probably about a pound and a half, maybe 750 grams. Absolutely perfect. You see the texture on that fish? Very firm. You know it's fresh. If I smell that, it is just gonna smell like the sea. This is absolutely, incredibly fresh. So I've got my barbecue going, super high heat, and I wanna preheat that for about five or 10 minutes as I'm preparing the salmon. I'm not gonna mess too much with it because it's so perfect. When it's perfect, you don't mess with it. A Little bit of olive oil, as per usual. And if I tell you how long this is gonna cook, we're gonna get to that in a little bit, but you might be surprised. So would you think that this whole piece of salmon might take 20 minutes on the grill? Think about that for a minute. I'm gonna get back to you with my, what I'm gonna put on it. So lime, any kind of citrus, fantastic on salmon. Uh, what I think I'm gonna add is some dill. Because the salmon is so fresh and it really has such an incredible sort of flavor of that sea and it's so beautiful pink, I'm not gonna overdo it with things I'm putting on it, but I would say that dill and salmon are like the best of friends. Dill and salmon are like peanut butter and jam. So I'm gonna take a nice handful of salt. I've slathered it with a bit of olive oil and I'm just gonna go in with not too much salt on the flesh side. Now I'm gonna go in with a little of the zest of one lime. A little bit of cracked black. Now I'm gonna chop the dill. But please, if you find in your neck of the woods this kind of salmon, you wanna treat it with care because it will deliver you in 20 minutes an absolutely spectacular meal. So now what I'm gonna do is, I wanna have a cloth to wipe my hands here. I salt the skin side quite a bit because that helps to kind of loosen it from the grill. So I'm gonna flip it over and give it a nice coating of salt on the bottom. Now let's throw a little bit of the dill on the bottom here. Okay, and all this beautiful fresh dill right on top. Look at the color of that salmon. All right, so that was pretty simple. Herbs, salt, pepper, a little bit of zest. Now we go to the grill. Come with me here. So main thing you wanna keep, make sure here is that your grill is super, super clean. You cannot grill anything, especially fish, if the grill is not clean. Good trick is to put some oil on a cloth and actually oil this grill. But mine is super clean. Now, this is where the herbs come in. So I came up with this trick because fish is a little bit challenging, especially as this filet. So what I do is I lay these herbs right down on the grill, like that, kind of on a diagonal. And guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put the fish right on there. So it's coming your way. When you warm this up, you wanna make sure that your dial reads about 450 degrees. It's gotta be super hot, then you're gonna lay the salmon on, and then you're gonna close it, 
and walk away and don't open it again. Now those herbs that are on the bottom there are gonna give a little bit of a smokiness as well. They're gonna to burn to a crisp, do not worry. But you're gonna see when we go to lift it up, it's gonna release right from the grill. By the way, uh, this is just between you and me. You know how the men are always bragging about how great they are on the grill? Us ladies know how to grill. I don't mess with it. You put it on, you just keep your eye on it, but you don't move it. So this will take, how long do you think? 20 minutes? 15? It will take seven to nine minutes, no more than that. Okay, so I'll meet you back at the grill and we'll check on it. Okay, let's have a look at what's going on in there. It's been about six minutes. So, smoke is coming out, not to worry. Because the tail end of the salmon is quite small, what I've done here is I've turned off this side of the barbecue because this is gonna cook much quicker, and I'm actually not gonna flip it over at all. So right now, let me just see, how do I know if it's ready? I can touch it, and it's giving a little bit. You want this to be firm still, but tender. So here's sort of a foolproof way. Take a knife, insert it very gently right into the thickest part of the salmon. Wait a couple of seconds if your hair is not burnt to a crisp, and then feel that. So that's just kind of warmer than my hand. So I would say for me, this salmon is done. If you like it a little bit more well done, turn it down again, one more minute, and you're good to go. But I'm taking this baby off. It's a little bit catching on this side, but it's completely free. Now, if the skin comes off because it is delicate, I actually keep it on the barbecue and let it get super crispy. Look at that gorgeous piece of fish. I happen to love this oblong platter. It really shows off the fish. A little bit of lime for garnish. I'm gonna wedge it up here. A little sockeye salmon grilled in eight minutes or less. As I said, only the grizzlies and us get to eat this beautiful fish. See you next time on My Favorite Foods. I'm Christine Cushing. thanks.